everyone. So, it is that time of the year. European summer is starting. The weather is glorious outside, but it's even more glorious in other countries other than the UK. So, I'm going away. I'm going to Barcelona and we're going away for about a week. So that's like a whole lot of outfits, like a whole lot of outfits. As usual, I've given myself about a week and I'm gonna attempt to make them all. Not all of them, I have some things that I made this last couple of months that I haven't been able to wear yet, so we'll take those. But there is a whole bunch of stuff that I wanna make. I just recently had a peruse on a few of the uh, Russian websites. I know, I know, I should be, Honestly, some of those Russian sites do really nice things. I saw a few Insta sewers wearing some things that I thought, that's really cute. So I've got those patterns. We're gonna figure it out as we go along. So I've got eight days. I've printed everything out. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten patterns here that I need to stick together. Normally I would go and get them printed on a big piece of paper, but because I need to basically average on like one outfit a day, I don't have time to wait for the post. So we're gonna spend this afternoon sticking these all together and cutting them out and then we can get into it. So that's the plan. So it is the next day. Yesterday I spent all day cutting out pattern, after pattern, after pattern. I actually printed out more than I know that I'm gonna realistically be able to sew because I want to continue sewing these throughout the summer and just kind of build up my wardrobe. So the two companies that I uh, bought from this time are companies that I've never actually bought their patterns from. Um, they are Russian companies and they are not Vicky Sews, although we love Vicky Sews around here, but they are, I guess, quite similar. And I guess anyone who's sewing in the Russian community will be able to tell you that these companies are also pretty good. So the first one is called So Level. I just heard about this, like literally yesterday. I bought them and printed them out on the same day. I got the Amanda dress, which is a slimline dress with like a little V-neck and it's got like this little tight option and a little bit of a puff sleeve. It's very, very chic. We've got the Lola dress, which is just your simple twist front dress. I actually already have a twist front dress pattern that I just created myself, but I wanted to try this one out and it, it costs like two pounds. I was just gonna buy it. So those are the ones from Sew Level. The other company that I used was Helper Sew. Now, anyone who's been in the sewing community for long has heard of Vicky Sews. Helper Sews is just like Vicky Sews, like quite big, loads of patterns, really, really nice things as well. I've seen a few things that I'm like, absolutely. We've got the Emma vest, which is just your uh, normal like vest, waistcoat type deal. I definitely want to make that with like a pair of matching shorts. And I do have a pair of shorts here called the Marco shorts, which are kind of a belted, um, tailored shorts. So I think that with the vest would look really, really nice together. Um, we also have the Andrea top, which is a uh, kind of like a cropped bralette thing with like ties that wrap around. So I thought that would be quite nice for the summer. So I don't know if you remember this fabric, but this was the fabric I was super excited about and I got in the Stitch Festival. So the Marco shorts are gonna be this. And then I think I can also use this to make one of the cropped tops. And with whatever's left over, if I have enough left, we'll make a shirt as well. So this is gonna be the very loud three piece set. For the Amanda dress, I have a lot of options and I'm not sure. First option is this yellow uh, like Swiss dot fabric. As you can see, it is quite sheer, so I will need to line it, but I think that will look really, really nice. Option number two is this fabric here, which is a viscose. This is the one that I picked up from the Stitch Festival a couple of um, videos ago. I got this from Fabric Godmother. Again, I think the print is quite uh, abstract, but I think it would look really nice as a dress. Finally, I mean, I've got a hundred other fabrics I can use. This fabric, I got this when I was in Italy. This is X Designer Dolce & Gabbana, and I've been meaning to use it, but I keep getting scared because I just don't want to like cut it. And then the thing that I make doesn't look right. I don't know, what do you think? Like I'm very much leaning towards this because I really want to make something that's like worth like the fuss over the fabric. So it may be this, I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I'm thinking for the amount of dress. I have decided on a fabric for the Amanda dress. I got this viscose a little while ago from Abacans. I really like the print and I think that would look quite nice as like a v-neck with a little tie. So I think that's what we're going to go for. So I'm going to give this an iron so that it's nice and flat and we're going to cut it out. Okay. 
okay, I spent all of yesterday cutting stuff out. I changed my mind on a whole bunch of fabrics, but this, this is what we're working with today. So I'm just putting the threads and stuff together. I'm finally using this fabric that I got from Turkey. I'm gonna make a matching set with it. So we're gonna do the trousers in this and the wrap bralette top in that. This is gonna be the twist dress. This is gonna be the matching set with the shorts and the top that goes with it. This is the shorts by themselves. This is the Amanda dress with a little tie front. And this is a Vicky Sews uh, dress that I actually cut out last week. Um, and I'm gonna sew it today. It's one of the newer patterns. It's like a little tie front mini dress. And that's what I've got so far. So I said I was gonna cut out four. I've actually cut out eight and I'm going to try and sew them. Today is Wednesday afternoon. So it's taken me about two and a half days to cut out all the paper patterns and cut these ones out in fabric. And now we're gonna spend the next five days sewing. Uh, yeah, my overlocker already has orange thread in it. So we're gonna go and sew the orange things first. We're gonna do orange first, so let's get. waistband they look quite large but I went by my hip measurement so um, this is what the bottom is looking like so looking quite cute um, so what we're gonna do now is put the waistband on and then garment number one is done I had to stop, make dinner and all of that. Um, I kind of want to start on the next item, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go to bed, can I get a good night's sleep, and then tomorrow we will try and tackle three things. Yeah. Anyway, I'm quite tired, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I woke up like 20 minutes ago, had a cup of tea, and now I'm in the studio. I have about an hour to get some stuff done before I have to go to the gym, and then after that I'll be back to push and see if we can get the other stuff done. Last night, I don't know, I think I was delirious, I was so tired. Last night I finished these. I will show you them on later. I'm very excited, they're really nice. So that really paid off my idea. And then today we're gonna do the top, uh, wrap around top, which I'm a little bit iffy about. I don't really wear like bralettes and stuff because I just, um, I just, I can never really find something that actually flatters my boobs, the size that they are. Um, Everything always kind of looks like a bikini or like underwear. So we'll see what this looks like. And then we're also uh, gonna put together the orange twist dress. Uh, what I've got to do now is prepare these pattern pieces with my interfacing and all of that so that when I come back from the gym, I can just get to sewing. I'm back from the gym. We've started on the top. Actually, I'm like halfway through the top. We've got the lining inner section and we've got the outside section. I just need to stitch this bit together and then we make the straps. And then what else? Yeah, I've got to make loads of straps and I don't have enough fabric of the first one, but the second one has quite a bit of strapping. So I'm going to cut the straps and then this one will be done. So I think I'll be done with this one in about, I'm going to give myself an hour because I like to procrastinate. Um, so once we're doing that, then we can get onto the orange dress and it is only one o'clock. So I think we're doing okay. two pieces done. We've got the top, apart from the top, the tie is supposed to go around the front. I didn't have enough, so I may cut some from this other fabric, which is quite similar, but not the same because it doesn't have these little dots on it. Trousers fit really well, super relaxed, nice and stretchy, great. Um, I have this one left. I think with this, we can make, let's see, like if I had a shirt, you see how it would be quite a nice little outfit. It was like, ha. Had it. But we need to make the other things, but if we have time, we will cut a shirt from this. All right, it is Thursday evening. We had a busy day today. I didn't get to do much sewing, but we have started on the third item. So I've made my top and everything's in a pile, but I made my top and my trousers. Now we're going on to the third piece. This is actually coming together really quickly. So the top part was really easy. This was one seam, that was another seam, armhole, other armhole, and then twist so 
that is the top part ready to go. And right now I am just um, doing the back. We need to hem the shoulders and I'm gonna be using my cover stitch machine. So it gives me the two lines at the top and the overlock look at the bottom. So we're gonna do that and then we can join it all together. And then this dress is done. So I think I'll be done and then I'll be ready tomorrow to tackle this lot. We've got a double stitch at the front and at the back we've got this really nice chain stitch. Nice and neat. Good morning everyone. So today is Friday. I'm leaving on Tuesday. So we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I've got four days left. I've just finished my third garment and I absolutely love it. I think it fits really well. I did have to do quite a bit of fitting. Um, I went by the size measurements and it fit fine, but this is quite a stretchy fabric. So I did take it in quite a bit on the sides and I also had to readjust this because it was, um, it was kind of too stretchy so everything was falling out and here I feel quite uh, secure um, but I will be using you know the little nipple covers and the tape to cape everything in but this is what it looks like very happy with everything and yeah I've got five more items to go and because it's like seven o'clock in the morning I think I might be able to get through two today I'm gonna go for the little yellow shorts and top combo because they're both the same color and we can try and get through that and yeah so hopefully if we do that today and then we do tomorrow one more and then Sunday one more, then that's almost everything bar one. And I'll have two days left. We'll see what happens, but hope you enjoy. On to the next one. I barely filmed yesterday because not only was I sewing but I was also doing other things so I didn't get as much as I wanted to get done uh, but I did get the majority of these shorts together um, they're not quite finished I'm gonna finish them now but this is the top we still need to put the um, belt loops in but they're, ve they're very very cute I really quite like them and they need hemming so I'm gonna go do that this morning then I'm off to brunch with my boyfriend and then after brunch I'm back to sew for the rest of the day I told him he's got to fend for himself today because today I am sewing because we've got today Sunday Monday and then we're leaving on Tuesday Tuesday morning so I can't even do some sneaky sewing in the morning so we're getting there we're getting there I think today I'll be able to finish these shorts and finish the top and then tomorrow we'll do the Amanda dress and if we can finish those last pair of shorts then we will and if we can maybe make a shirt to match my first outfit then we'll do that too anyway let's get on with this and then we're gonna go to breakfast okay so we are back from brunch and the shorts are finished and I love them. These are so nice. This, this, I've made a lot of shorts and these I think are my nicest pair. And also they fit really well. They're like quite smart, but also really casual. And I, I really like them. Like, I really, really like them. So these are the shorts and they come with like a little matching belt, a little bit of a close up. really nice. Love the pockets, love everything. Okay, so it's like mid morning Saturday. We're gonna get this top done. It's a small top. It can't be that complicated. That sounds like famous last work. So let's get this done and then two more items to go. Woo! It's Sunday. I made a terrible mistake. Not a terrible mistake. I had a good time. Went to dinner and drank some wine and basically <laughs> didn't do any sewing because I was a, a little tipsy and now this morning I feel dehydrated and I should have finished my top yesterday and I, I really didn't but we're gonna do that today and then we're gonna do the dress so it's Sunday I've got today and tomorrow Monday and then that's it I've got two days we've got to get serious about our sewing now because I've still got three items to make oh my gosh I was I was doing so well I was doing so well and then I got cocky and now and now I actually have no time so we're on to the speed sewing portion of this video Hey, let's go. Out 
outfit is done. It is, again, it's very cute, but one thing, from looking at the pictures of this top, I didn't realise it would literally be a little bralette. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. It might just be me. It might just be my boobs. Boobs make everything shorter. But um, it's basically just like a bra and a pair of shorts. I think it looks really nice together, uh, but I'll definitely be wearing a shirt. I don't have any more of this fabric left. Otherwise, I would have made a shirt to go with it and it would have been perfect. But I still think it's a very cute little outfit. So now we can get on to the dress and I've still got the whole day, so that's good. Okay, so I have made the dress, but this is the Amanda dress. It's not finished. I've just basted in the sleeves because you need the sleeves to be able to try on the whole thing because these two aren't actually attached together until you put the sleeves in. So this is what it looks like. I really, really like it. Few things though. First things first, I have a hole in the sleeve. I didn't know that that was there. So I'm gonna have to make a few changes. We're gonna make it a three quarter length, I think. This T length here. I don't think really suits me that well. I'm not that tall, so it makes me look kind of short and a bit stubby, I think. So we're gonna raise this to about here, just like just over the knee, um, which I think works better for me and it makes it a little bit more wearable in multiple places. So that's the outfit. I'm gonna make those changes and then we're just getting straight onto another one. You've seen it now, the next time you're gonna see this, I'll be in Spain, all right, all right. It's Monday evening, it's seven o'clock, and today I didn't get any sewing done. I have two things left to do. I had the shorts and the Vicky Sews dress left to do, and I didn't get to do anything. I had to run errands, I had to clean my house, I had to do everything, so that's what, and I got my nails done, because they're, they're, they're looking very nice now, but. So I still have time, but I don't think I'm gonna go and make those two. I was looking in my WIPs, like my work in progress, like I've got a whole bin of things that I've just never finished, and I found this cropped top, and then the pattern pieces for a shorts combo. And I had a look to see the envelope that it was in. And it was this Mimi G pattern that I started making and for some reason never finished. And so the top just needs elastic in the sleeves and hemming around the bottom and elastic. So that's basically done. That's like a 20 minute job. And then all that's left is to make the shorts. All the pattern pieces are cut out. I just need to interface the, um, interface the waistband and sew it together. So instead of sewing those two pieces, I'm going to finish these two pieces and then I have myself another little matching set or two separates that I can wear on this trip. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done this evening. It might be a little bit of a late night tonight. And then tomorrow morning, now that I've cleaned my house and done all that, all I have to do tomorrow is pack. Okay, so it is morning off, it is Tuesday, it is seven o'clock in the morning and I'm leaving this house at one o'clock, so we have to pack. I wanted to show you the final outfit. I'm really glad actually that I made this because this is super cute, like it's really, really cute. Um, so the actual pattern is like two different tops and two different bottoms. There's a skirt and a short. This is the shorts version and with the top there's just like a normal one without the elastic and then with the elastic and I I chose the elasticated one so it was like quite firm. But yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. There's a few loose threads which I need to unpick and some gathering stitches that I need to take out, but it's done. It's hemmed, it's ready to go. So um, yeah, I'm done. I'm pretty sad I couldn't make those other two items, but when I get back, I'll be back on making them because we've got more trips coming up. I've got like four trips coming up in this next like month and a half. So we still need more clothes. So I'm gonna carry on making those. But that is it for making. Now I have to go pack. So the next time you see me, I'll be wearing these in Barcelona so you can actually see what the final thing looks like as a full outfit. I'll see you guys later.